Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is May 2nd, 2020. Saturday is now 2.47 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is just a quick check-in on how I'm coping with the coronavirus and my mental illness. Um, today I'm in a pretty good mood. It's a nice day out, sunny. It's about 60 degrees outside, which is pretty warm for Rochester, New York. Winter is over, but it just snowed just last week here in April, late April. Um, but I'm doing okay. My paranoia is not so bad today. My depression and anxiety aren't so bad. Um, I always have voices that I hear that are there all the time to some extent, and they are today. The paranoia is also there always to some extent. It's just a matter of degree. Um, there's no cure for schizophrenia but you can certainly control the symptoms in most cases. Schizophrenia, by the way, um, runs in 1% of the human population, regardless of country, race, economics, gender, gender identity, sexual orientation, disability. Schizophrenia runs 1% across the board in 1% of the population. So if you have a country with 100 million people in it, you have 1 million schizophrenics. If you have 300 million people like the United States, you have 3 million people with schizophrenia. Um, and that's pretty consistent around the world, like I said, regardless of country or race or religion or anything else. Um, but I'm doing okay. I took my bike out for a ride today. First time that I did that in a long time, um, at least for a long distance. Today I went a couple of miles out on my bike and then came back. Um, it's not raining now. It's a nice day. My mood improves, and I knew it would improve once the weather got better. Um, but still, keeping up a routine is important. Whether I'm isolated or not, I keep a routine of doing work online. I do consumer surveys online um, for money. I write poetry. I make these kinds of videos. Um, and I do a few other things to keep myself busy. Exercise is the, probably the mainstay of my coping mechanisms. Um, but my paranoia is there to some extent. I went outside today to ride my bike and there was a car parked outside in front of the house with somebody sitting in the car. They were probably just waiting for somebody, but I thought they were spying on me. But it, that's more of a feeling than an actual thought. My intellect is still in control um, of my behavior and how I react to things, regardless of if I feel like I'm being followed or not. I usually know how to keep control of my behavior so I don't get myself in, into any trouble. I used to go up to people physically and accuse them of following me. Or if they were sitting in a car, I'd whip out my cell phone and start filming their car. And they're wondering, like, what the fuck am I doing? Why are you, why am I doing this to them? And my answer would be because you're following me. And of course, they would deny following me because they're not following me. So... That's the kind of behavior I have to keep under control. Um, paranoia can be a very strong feeling, but you have to resist it and try to think logically about what's likely going on. Um, and I'm only able to make those logical connections by staying on my medication. Yes, I take seven medications. More than half of are psychiatric and the other half are medical. I take uh, Remeron, which is an antidepressant, hydroxyzine for anxiety, Neurotin for anxiety, Seroquel uh, for psychosis, um, Haldol is a PRN for paranoia, and then I take some other medications for medical problems. But if I didn't take my medication, I wouldn't even sound lucid right now. I'd be just spewing out gibberish. So my medication is necessary um, for any kind of logical thinking on my part. Um, I know a lot of people don't like psychiatry. They don't like psychiatrists. They think psychiatrists are a fraud and all that. Well, you're not in the same situation that I'm in if you're saying that. Or if you are, you're denying your own mental illness, um, which makes no sense. Um, people who are mentally ill and homeless, um, they bear some responsibility, I think, for being homeless. Because more often than not, they're homeless because they are um, engaging in drug addiction, alcoholism, um, and gambling and other addictions that keep them from being able to live in a stable place. And they're not taking medication and they're not getting therapy. They're not getting counseling. 
It's not that those things aren't available. It's that once they engage in therapy, they don't stick with it. They don't take their medications and thereby become homeless. Um, at least that's true for some of the homeless. I think that if more homeless people took responsibility for their mental illnesses, they wouldn't be homeless. I was homeless in my lifetime for about one month. And I learned that that's enough for me not to t- for me to take my medic- medication because the worst thing is to be homeless during the winter like I was for one month. Um, and that was due to my mental illness. I wasn't taking my meds. I wasn't listening to anybody. Um, and so for me, the pain and suffering of the physical pain and suffering of being homeless was enough to keep me on my meds and stick with my treatment, even though it's not perfect, even though psychiatrists can't work magic um, or cure mental illness, I can still take responsibility for my behavior, my thoughts, my feelings, and take my medications, keep a routine going, trying to keep a social life going, and just generally taking responsibility for my behavior, starting with taking my medication. Um, But that's all for now. I don't ask for money to make these videos. I don't need money to make these videos. So if you really want to help me out, don't send me money, but share my videos on social network sites, social media sites like Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and whatever else. I don't hold trademark uh, rights on these videos. I place them in public domain so people could use my videos or excerpts of my videos for any reason they want to. Um, I think that's called Creative Commons Attribution, when I'm not enforcing my rights on copyright, and I consider my videos to be public domain. Um, but share my videos on social media, press the, the, the notification bell to get notifications when I put out a new video, otherwise you may not know when I get a new video out, even if you're subscribed. Um, and if there's a topic you want me to cover, whether it's about mental illness or something else, leave comments in the comment section. And that's all for now. Take care of yourselves and each other in the coronavirus epidemic.